Hello there people of the internet and welcome back to another Nerd Central video. In today's video we are taking a look at this, Doctor Who No More Lies, starring Paul McGann and Sheridan Smith by Paul Sutton. This is the sixth story in the 8th Doctor's first series of adventures by Big Finish. Uh, and yeah, now we'll take a look at the packaging. Now on to the cover. Uh, taking a look at the cover, you can see the cover art's very good. Although it's not my personal favourite, but anyway. You can see there is a picture of two of the main characters. One being Nick and one being Rachel, the woman. Uh, and you can see behind them there's a sort of country house with a garden. And there's a sort of vortex effect like a crack in time almost. almost it's like the effect like when the Vortosaurs and the Termodorks break through from the vortex into earth so that's what that effect is in the sky you can see there's some pterodactyl looking creatures which are in fact vortosaurs with people riding above them there's a red sky uh, on the left you can see more of the country house and more of that sort of lightning vortex effect with the TARDIS there uh, you can also see it says full cast audio drama here a uh, big finish there with a sort of pink hue-ish sort of colour up on the top you can see it says classic doctors and brand new adventures again with that sort of pink hue on the banner it says doctor who in the tv movie logo paul mcgann and sheridan smith in no more lies by paul sutton again that picture of the doctor and lucy uh which ends up getting replaced with a better one which is just of the doctor i mean because lucy's all good and that but in the cover I just prefer it when it's the Doctor but anyway it has a featuring list under there with some more of the more prominent actors on this uh, sort of release then down the little uh, thing in the side here where it usually says like an audio adventure for Doctor Who there's nothing there it's just sort of a bluish and pinkish effect on the side you can see uh, again that pinkish hue with a sort of faded picture of Paul McGann's Doctor it says Doctor Who normal lies six and big finish on the back you can see it says no more lies written by paul sutton directed by barnaby edward uh, the synopsis the cast list other parts played by the cast and just the reverse of the banner with the dot two logo and uh, the running times and just legal information and then there's a sort of faded image i don't know if you can see with sort of the tardis and uh, sort of a purge like vortex effect so yeah as for the outside of the packaging it's all right not the best design but it suffices now we'll take a look at the inside taking a look at the innards of the cd you can see there is uh, the standard back of the booklet which has a picture of the doctor with a little brief synopsis, synopsis of the eighth doctor a picture of lucy miller next to the tardis with the same for lucy and a picture of the headhunter with the same for the headhunter. Then it says this CD also features special behind the scenes interviews with cast and producers. Again it has that sort of pinkish like peachish hue. Who? Uh, who's who? Then there's a picture of the TARDIS flying through space. Uh, going over to the disc you can see this time. I don't know if it picks it up on camera but it's sort of a sort of like greyish blue effect. It's weird. Then it says in this sort, sort of shiny reflective text. Doctor Who in the TV movie logo, Paul McGann and Sheridan Smith in Normal Lies, that featuring list again. On the bottom, it just stars in like trademark information with a big finish logo. Then on the back, it's the same uh, sort of back background design that they've been using from I think it was for the fourth release onwards, where instead of just a list of all the episodes, it's in with little pictures. The sort of these little lists here. It says, also available from Big Finish, the 8th Doctor collection. Just sort of little lists on different stories the 8th Doctor's been in. A picture of the TARDIS mid-flight. And a picture of Paul McGann's Doctor and Summit just saying subscribe to Big Finish. So yeah, uh, as for the uh, presentation of this packaging, it's alright. This case came not damaged, so that's cool. I didn't have to replace anything. But yeah, it's not the best cover. But it does a good job at visualising what the story's like. So yeah, now on to my thoughts of the story itself. Right, now on to my thoughts of No More Lies itself. What do I think of No More Lies? Well, 
some facts are. I like the fact that they are two distinct settings in this story. Uh, both symbolising, like, set periods for the main character, this Nick guy, who's actually a villain at the beginning. I'm not going to tell you how it ends out, but yeah, he's a villain at the beginning. It starts aboard this, like, spaceship, which is under attack. Uh, and then the second sort of setting is, as you can see on the cover, like, uh, uh, what's it called? House party, you, you know, in a rich people's house. They're sort of on an estate and they're having a house party and then they start getting attacked and yeah, it links back into his uh, former, like, what he used to be like. But yeah, there's two distinct settings, so it gives you some variety in that. One being a more sci-fi setting, one being a more grounded uh, down to earth setting which is quite cool the characters quite well developed uh, in this story we've been that the main villain at the beginning gets quite a lot of development you know throughout the story because it starts off being your typical like villain you know like uh, attacking the doctor leaving him to die all that sort of stuff but then when the doctor meets him uh, in this other setting, he's about 30 years older, and something's happened which has like changed his perspective on everything, and it's really cool because you get quite a lot of development in his character with how he like settled down and all that, and it's really cool, I think. Uh, and it also links back in with how this story can be quite emotional there, a lot of bits. I also think like some of the other side characters have been quite developed, like Rachel, like Rachel's brother, used to be. He's not. He sort of acts as a security guard, and it's not just like, oh, I'm a security guard. He's like he's not the biggest character when it comes to this, but it does get some like development. Like I was in the CID for ten years, and yeah, so even the minor characters get quite a bit of development. I think. The people that don't get that much development are the Lucy and the Doctor, to be honest, which could be a bit of a downside for some people, but it's more of a character story on, like, what's this called? Nick's character in this. Like, the character Nick, that guy on the cover. It's sort of more a story of him and that Rachel. It's a uh, quite uh, emotional story, I think, and quite one centred on redemption and that. Uh, it also has a good, good mixture of action and storytelling. Like uh, at the beginning, there was a bit of action because there's like a ship that's under attack. But then it keeps cutting back between settings because then it'll be an action bit, like where the Doctor and Lucy are getting chased through a corridor or something. And then you'll cut to the garden bit, like where there's more development for the characters. And then you'll get even when like the main attack comes later in the story you still get quite a lot of development for the characters even when there you know there's a lot of action so it does a good job at mixing that I think and the ending of this story is also quite sad because it's quite emotional because you like get to know these uh, people these characters and how they've changed the natural reason why events have happened in this I'm not gonna say what the main plot is but the reason why the events have happened uh, is actually quite personal and it's actually quite whoa I can understand why this guy would do that and yeah it's quite sad the monsters are also very good in this with them being villains that absorb time I think that's a kind of very unique concept and it's very cool because like uh, they actually what the monsters do is if they grab you or get a hold of you they actually feed off time because they exist within the vortex itself they like live there and they absorb time and I think it's really cool because the effects that you hear like when someone gets grabbed are just so cool and you can just imagine them being absorbed it's really really good uh, it has a nice story to it at the center of it I think it's a story of love and redemption to be honest because uh, through, I'm not gonna say how but throughout the story Nick's character grows from being just this selfish character to being one who's a lot more caring and it's almost like his redemption and how he fights for what he's got. And yeah, it's quite a good character. It's sort of Nick's and Rachel's story, this. It's really cool. I think that all of the... No, I think that the humour in this episode isn't as funny as in some previous episodes. Like in some of the previous episodes, I think the writers wrote it a bit more humorous. 
you know, like, they give you a laugh. But Lucy still has some funny lines in there, it's just not as many as in other stories, which is a nice break, but I don't know, I just think it's best, like, when Lucy and the Doctor are, like, playing jokes off each other, it's really, I uh, like that aspect, but there's not a lot of that in here. It's more of an emotional story, and a sort of more serious one, I'd say. So, yeah, that could be a downside for some people. I think that all of the performances are good in this, and they will help you get invested into the world of the story. Like, Nigel Havers, who plays, what's he called, Nick, he's really good. Paul McGann, Sheldon Smith are brilliant as always, will they work off each other well. All the side characters, the one who plays Rachel's quite good. They're all really good, I think. The soundscape of this story is also fantastic. Being that they use the sound effects really well in order to sort of craft this world in your head, because you can actually, when they're at this tea party, you can actually imagine everybody just talking around, having drinks and that, and when they're on a spaceship, you can imagine them being on this futuristic spaceship. It really does help craft the world in your mind, I think. It ends on a fantastic cliffhanger with the hen headhunter, which leads nicely into human resources because I'm not going to say what it is, but if you know throughout the series, the headhunter's been trying to track down Lucy throughout all of these adventures and she finally catches up with them and something happens in this. So it's a really cool cliffhanger because it sort of pays off from earlier episodes and it leads nicely into human resources. Uh, anyway, what do I think of the story as a final, you know, as a sort of conclusion? Overall, I think that No More Lies is a good story. I enjoyed a lot. I enjoyed it a lot more on the second listen than on the first. Uh, I don't know whether it was just because I wasn't in the mood for it on the first, but uh, if you get any audios from Big Finish, give them at least two listens to make your full opinion up on them, because uh, a lot can change in that second listen. Uh, it has some great action in it, some great acting, and a great story in it, a great story of redemption and love and that, and it's not like soppy love, it's like, it makes sense, it's like, powerful and that, and it's really cool, I think, uh, they do it the right, the right way, uh, and it leads nicely into human resources, which we'll be coming to next, we'll be coming to human resources part one. So then, overall, I would give No More Lies an 8 out of 10. Uh, this has been Nerd, another Nerd Central video. Thank you for watching. If you've uh, listened to No More Lies, tell me what you think of it in the comments. If you haven't, are you collecting any of the 8th Doctor Adventures? Because I know I am. Uh, what do you think of it? Do you think it sounds good? Uh make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this uh check out the facebook group if you want to see like uh just exclusive updates like new videos that are coming although to be honest i use the twitter more so check out that because i usually post some stuff there i might start posting more on the twitter like you know like what videos are coming up so yeah make sure to check out the twitter as well uh so yeah Thank you for watching, this has been another Nerd Central video, goodbye.